What's going on guys? Today we're going to be looking at the Lumen Top CL2 Lantern. This is a 14500, takes four 14500s uh, lantern and it, as you can tell, is very heavily inspired by the Sofern LT1. Uh, the reason I got this lantern is because, first of all, I really like uh, you know, the lantern lanterns that are coming out of the flashlight community and I also you know wanted to try out one that was 14500 size because I think the size is very very compact compared to the the 18650 using LT1 um, however it does have some shortcomings and we'll get into that so first obviously I'll just show what's in the box the my box came uh, pretty dented but that's just an Amazon thing you got the manual, and then you got a USB-C cable and an extra O-ring. So that's what you get in there. Light is obviously USB-C charging. It does not USB-C discharge, so you cannot use it as a power bank. Um, and then if you want to compare it to what's in the Sofern box, uh, well, this is not part of it, but you can get... I got a magnetic base you can screw into the tripod thing, but it's not part of it. Uh, this comes with an extra button, extra O-rings, extra USB cover, and the manual and the bubble wrap. And also, it has the uh, the orange like ring, so it protects it when it falls out. I also think it just looks really cool with the ring. It does not stay on very well, but I think it looks really, really cool with the orange ring. Um, this also, the Lumen Top also only comes in black, whereas the LT1 comes in orange, green, and black, and I think brown too. Um, so, I'm going to get into the manual real quick. These are the runtimes, outputs, if you want to pause. Now, what's really cool about this light, uh, which is something that can be very useful, especially in like a power outage situation, is that it runs on... 14500s and AA alkaline batteries. I'm assuming it can take nickel metal hydride. I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, yes, it does work too. So yeah, all all versions of a AA work. However, obviously, you know when you charge this light, you can only charge the 14500s uh, in the light. I I don't think you can charge nickel metal hydride through the light. So. And obviously, do not mix battery types. You, if you want a 14500, all 14500. If you want a alkaline, all alkaline, and so on and so forth. This does come with the Lumen Top 14500s, which has like the mag the um, the built-in micro USB port on them. I would just, if you're going to use, I would just recommend using all the Lumen Top ones. I wouldn't recommend uh, having some Lumen Top and like some high output like vape cell ones and stuff. So, just to be safe use all of the same battery type um this does use sst20s the temperature is not stated um zero error on his review he said it is uh about 4000k to me it looks a lot cooler probably closer to 5000 not super super cool but definitely cooler than that um so yeah let's go through the modes real quick so first you got moonlight mode press and hold for that two lumen moonlight and you can't really tell obviously i'm not in a pitch black room but this is the moonlight then the ui on here is not anduril sadly but this is how it works um it is a hold to off light by the way so that's a deal breaker i mean sorry about that but i would say that uh at least in lantern though hold to off isn't that bad because Say it's on, you know, I have it on table, so if it falls over um, and it lands on the button, it's not going to turn it off. But yeah, let's hold it off. So then, if you want to change the modes, you just click. So this is the 10 lumen low mode and 160 lumen medium, 400 high, and then you can only get a turbo by double clicking, which is uh, 650 lumens. So it's pretty bright. Um, and that is with the 14500, of course, as you can see, with the uh, 
Let me turn that off, dude. Okay. With a double A alkaline, the uh, outputs will be lower. And it is, you know, similar here, but it's significantly lower across the board when you start getting to medium. However, obviously, since it is much lower, the runtime is a lot longer. I don't think having a turbo, like using turbo on a lantern is ever that necessary. It's, it's already, you know, pretty bright, even at medium. So if you want to prioritize runtime, then I think having uh, alkaline or nickel metal hydride batteries is good. Um, also has a strobe SOS beacon mode, which, I mean, you know what it looks like, so I don't need to strobe here. But um, other than that, it also has a built-in battery indicator. So this light, this is kind of an Andoril esque thing if you click seven times the button it changes the behavior so right now i have it to off but if you click seven times it'll have an indicator so it's not going to be a fully lit button but this is the battery indicator so if it's high then it's going to be green at the top and then when it's lower it'll be red at the bottom but it's either on or off for having it on um so if you, let's see. Okay, so this that light will be off whenever the light is on though. So that's that's just behavior for when it's off. Just wanna see where it is or have an indicator. But I always like to have my, my lights uh, with the button off. So yeah, that's, the, the UI isn't super bad. Like, I mean, it's pretty intuitive. Um, blink modes. You have to go from moonlight though to go into the strobe and then obviously you can also lock the light out this light locks out also really easily physically so if you just turn it like that it'll lock the light out so which is nice um it also has this really nice hook here very sturdy feeling hook and when i was testing the run times um i noticed like it actually runs a lot longer than it says it does. I, I put this thing on, on turbo out of the box just to see, um, how, you know, if I could even get the low battery thing to show up. And the, the, the batteries weren't fully charged either. I, I, I put it on a box and it was holding turbo for like a long time, like much longer than the stated, like, you know, two minutes or so. So I think it's pretty cool. Uh, so that means that the flight will run for a really long time, especially at lower modes if you need it to. Um, this also can charge at up to 2 amps, which is cool. And it can do the same thing as the LT1 where you can run it on 1, 2, 4 batteries. I don't think it can do no batteries charging, or uh, it can light up with no batteries, but the like... Uh, the LT1, if you have no batteries and you have it plugged in directly to like a power source, it will still turn on. But this one, you can use one, two, three, or four batteries, so which is pretty cool. Uh, the charging port also has a nice, nice rubber seal on it. And I guess if you really wanted to, I'll show you the inside real quick. If you really wanted to charge these, you can charge them individually with the micro USB. But yeah, it uses the four button tops. I think you can only use button tops with this too. Yeah, threads are really nice too. Um, so now we're gonna I'm, I'm gonna compare this to the uh, the LT1. And yeah, you, of course you can't charge double A batteries like I said. Um, so obviously for the price this light costs uh 70 dollars on amazon and it comes with the batteries and i think that is like this price i've seen it everywhere um this light is i got mine for 85 on amazon obviously you can get it a little cheaper i think like 70 something directly from china but very similar in price I think for the price, the LT1 is much better. I mean, the LT1 is just the best lantern by far, so it's not really a close comparison to anything. 
Um, but yeah, I mean, it has Anderil, it has uh, 18650s, so it's obviously it's larger, but it has more runtime. They do both have the tripod mount on the bottom, but this one also has one on the side. Lumen top does not. Um, and you can get this uh, case for the LT1. This is the, it's the same thing as like a JBL flip like speaker case, but that's the one you can get from Sofern, just like that. I think that's pretty cool. It's obviously a bit big for this light, but I haven't seen a case yet for the, the CL2. CL2 is a pretty, um, pretty new light though. So, yeah. So just to compare, I will show you the tints, I guess. Oh, this one I don't have the batteries. Contact, I'm sorry. All right, so this one has tint ramping though. So I mean, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna ramp it to. That was very bright. Wow. Okay. This is a low mode, so I'm gonna ramp this to. I get, I mean, is this the, yeah, so this is the warmest it gets, which is a 2700K. You can't really tell on camera, but you can tell it's visibly much warmer than the 4000K here. If I ramp this to the coldest, which is a 5700K, I think. It's not 6500 on this. They look a lot closer in color. Uh, which makes leads me to believe that you know this is definitely cooler than a four thousand k um, light. Uh, when I was testing on turbo as well, this top got really really hot. These will both get hot, but um, I think the run times are still really great on both of these. Uh, the switch is a lot like it's a little softer on here. Than on here but they're both very satisfying to click and um obviously it doesn't have discharge whereas this one does so you can charge like phones and stuff with it the usb-c but i think the the part where this wins out is is the anduril 2 user interface this has a lumen top one it's okay but i think anduril especially for a lantern is crucial uh you know, the candle mode, the lightning mode, all of those are, you know, very amplified when you have a lantern because, let's see, I'll show you. Lots of battery, sorry. So when you have a lantern, it it's much more, you get much more out of that like thunderstorm mode or whatever you want to use than you will with you know just like a normal flashlight obviously you can put a diffuser on it but i think those modes really shine in a lantern um so yeah that's the cl2 i don't think we need to do like a beam shot stuff because it's it's not a flashlight so I mean, you saw the differences um so yeah i think that's all i have to say about it really I hadn't seen any videos on YouTube about this light. It's not much on the internet, to be honest about it, because it's pretty new. So I wanted to make this video to let people see it and the uh, comparison to the LT1. Um, if you're thinking about which one to buy, 100% get the LT1, not even close. I only got this light because I already had the LT1 and I wanted to see a smaller lantern. If uh, I know Sofern is actually working on a mini version of the LT1, which is based on the Sofern IF25, which has tint ramping. So if you want to wait for that, you can, but I mean, that will most likely looking at the size, it'll be a single, a single battery light. So this, I think having the versatility to use alkaline double A's uh, is very useful, especially, you know, power outage situation. Double A's are much more easy to get than 18650 batteries. So that is, if, if you worry about that, then definitely this light is a good idea. Uh, it's still, you know, better than a lot of the 
normal like camping lanterns there are in like sporting goods stores so yeah i mean i guess we recommend this light but again if you're if you don't have the lt1 looking for a lantern just get the lt1 that's that's all i'm gonna say <laughs> that that light is is by far the best lantern on the market right now so yeah i hope this video helped and thanks for watching